Hey everybody, Will Tompkins here at Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin, bringing you episode number 12 of Three Beers and a Whiskey, featuring the band Thieves. Here's beer number one. Yeah. Hey everybody, uh, Will here, uh, Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin, tonight with another episode of Three Beers and a Whiskey. Uh, we have with us Chris and Nathan from the band Thieves, so uh, we're going to go ahead and kick this thing off. Yeah, got um, and uh, as always, serving us the beer will be Marissa. Uh, you got some information for us about uh, how we're doing this. Yeah, so the premise of this show and the dynamic of the show is we're all going to have three beers and one whiskey. So two beers first, one whiskey, and then your last beer. So the episode length is going to be determined oh, by... Oh, that. Your drinking. Yeah. There you go. So. Yeah, alright. And uh, for everybody out there watching, and anybody in here in the house that hasn't done this yet, um, if you go to uh, threebeersandawhiskey.com, there's a big old watch now button in the middle. Hit that, it jumps you to the YouTube page. Please do us all a favor and click on the little subscribe button on YouTube, hit the little ringer bell so you get the notifications from us. We would love that very much. So. Threebeersandwhiskey.com will take you to our YouTube page to subscribe. Here comes the beers. Thank you. Uh, uh, round one. Cheers, fellas. All right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Gentlemen, thank you all very much for joining us here. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Cheers. Um, so, uh, y'all just got done with uh, some recording, right? Got some new stuff uh, coming down the pipe? Sure did. We just recorded about eight songs uh, for... We don't know if we're going to necessarily make it one big full length or anything like that, but uh, yeah, we got a bunch of songs that we're... Just just got done uh, finishing and sending off to mix, so we'll have okay. a bunch of stuff. No matter how we release it, we got we got new material. Nice. And uh, how long from the song getting sent off for mix? How long before you have something that you're going to be putting out for your fans or for new fans, old fans? When are they going to be able to at least hear some of this stuff? I uh, which well, we're, we're not in a hurry. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, we would like to have everything done and released by the end of the year. Okay. But uh, the good we did everything ourselves. We recorded everything ourselves. Nice. So we're not really like who's got a home studio? Uh, me. I just oh. bought an entire one last year, actually. Nice. Well, okay. He's, he's had the home studio. studio. Yeah. He just entirely upgraded. For yeah. The, for so um, so yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, hopefully six months before we have a full, okay. yeah, full cool. thing released. Oh, uh, and are y'all still actively out touring and performing? Because I know y'all, you'll t do a little touring and performing, and then take a break, and somebody goes and gets married, and yeah, that happens. I don't think the marriage thing's gonna happen again. Okay, <laughs> no. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, uh, like I said, we always just take like two years to write and record, yeah. just because we go at our own pace. So it's usually right around when we release something, we'll, we'll go out for a couple months, and then. Uh, but we, we do it pretty uh, tight and quick, though. We don't we don't usually spend more than you know a month or two right, for a big release on right. of touring at least. So, and you said that uh, you've got eight songs in the bag, um, but you're kind of kicking around whether you want to put it like a an EP or full length. Or yeah, or split it between two EPs maybe. Yeah. We we don't know. We like that's the good thing about recording it ourselves. We, we don't owe debt to anyone. No one's telling <laughs> so us there's no how to do it. No hammer on you. So to we're just kind of it out. taking our time figuring out what we want to do with it, really. So and it's funny that you we've jumped into this topic already because it, it's come up multiple times before on the show where um, we've had that conversation about hey so the conversation I've had with other people where it's been it seems like social media and and I don't want to say modern that's wrong term. Uh, production and releasing has turned into a game of yeah. put out a single, uh, promote it, blast it out there on all the social media, record a video, and just kind of do this. So every every month or or so, you're doing that so action to keep yourself relevant or or hot topic. Um, and it's funny that you're talking about you've got eight, and you're not sure if you're going to do a full length or right. split EP and two different releases. So right. it. It's ironic that that thought that you're kicking around seems like it's flowing with what the the current, I guess, environment is. Yeah, right. and that's something we're trying to navigate to as being in this band for so long. And we've put out, I think, one split and one EP, but everything else has been full lengths. So, one EP right back there, right? Yeah. 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 And, <laughs> and so we're kind of at the, this point in our careers, if you will, mm -hmm. 
not that what, you've got some being lucrative <laughs> by any means, but at this point in our uh, band life where, you know, maybe releasing all of them isn't the smartest or not necessarily the right way, but what we want to do, like we could, since we we're all doing other things, like Billy's married, we're, we all work all the time and we're all trying to, you know, look towards the future to make our own lives sustainable to where we can still afford to do what you stuff. love. Yeah. yeah. And, so it may be beneficial to make these songs stretch as long as possible so we don't right. put them all out and you know kind of burn out rather than fade away so three months speak. later we're, we're off the grid again. off the yeah. grid in another two years so yeah. and that's a tough thing to have to kick around yeah. yeah and that being said we all have different ideas about what we want to do and what we like as music listeners versus what is smart what is smartest and what is best for the band. Okay. So, you know, the whole thing, like, with, do you want to hear some singles with a music video and jam a single or two singles for a while and then hear a, a few more or then hear a short release? Or do you just want to hear a single that is going to be the... the single of a full record. Yeah, part of a yeah. full of, of a record. And, and so juggling that and, like, what we prefer versus what is smart is, is something that we've always kind of dealt with, but I think now with, with these songs, we're kind of placing a little bit more emphasis. They're taking a little longer to think about. Um, is there a theme that's going to run with these songs where you would kind of, it, it, you know, y'all took the time to write it, you put your blood, sweat, and tears into writing it and performing it and perfecting it before you set it off to mix. Um, do you have a, a, like, man, we can't cut it because this really, these go together. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I don't think so. Not, yeah, like I said, we're not really stuck or sold on any type of way of doing it. Um, and we haven't heard a mix yet. We just got it done ready. So like like a few days ago, we just finished the awesome. Yeah. Um, so once we hear a, a mix, it may sound cohesive a little bit more in certain gotcha. ways that we haven't heard it before. Or but it might uh, sound different. Uh, yeah, or yeah, or vice versa. You're like, oh, wait, maybe easier to record that. Like, which songs go which way, but. Like right now, it's just like we just we're stoked just to be done with it and like yeah. finally have it in the bag. Honestly, <laughs> your baby's done. Yeah. yeah, and now it's kind of in someone else's hands to hopefully. Yeah. So speaking of that, okay. what's, what's your style of music? Like, what do you play? Like, oh. what's your band all about? Um, we know. I think everybody here kno knows what you because we've seen you perform before. Right, right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, for because I'm sure there's three beers and whiskey people that follow the show that may not follow the band. So there's right. there's. I'm horrible at subgenres. Yeah, yeah. This one. So the highly specific subgenre that we are. We've been uh, for the past few years. We we kind of say high energy rock. Like mm. we started as a straight up pop punk band. Yeah. Um, and we're all hip to that. And a lot of our friends here in the audience were, have been there since day one. And we've kind of shifted our sound to now where it's kind of a little more driving, a little more ambient rock style. It's cool. not necessarily pop punk, but for us, you know, of course, we're there writing everything. The roots are still there. Like, still hear a lot of our old sound and our new sound. And of course, every musician's going to say that. But we've kind of, I think, navigated just the straight up pop punk band. Like if my mom or a relative asks, I just say rock. Yeah, because yeah. you're like, excited. Uh, you know, like, but to, yeah. But to someone who knows a few bands, you know, it's kind of like high energy rock. It's not just a rock band that kind of sits there and has some cool riffs. Like our, we we really bring a lot of energy into our Through writing the whole and, set, and also the yeah. live show too, which has always been okay a big part of our band. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's and about the live show, so the the. the, the, the I want to say it's a yeah. live show. Um, <laughs> you are such a pain in the ass to photograph. Oh, maybe. Dude, yeah, I was like, the, la <laughs> the last two shows, like, because you're all, oh, you're just going. And I'm like, okay, I got some good photographs of Billy and Nathan and then the drummer. I'm like, okay. And then the, and I'll, I'm like, I just like, push it so fast to try to capture you. And I'm like, so, so high energy. Photography, yeah. like, uh, who are your band members and what? Oh, yeah. What well, there you go. So we're missing a couple of people. Oh, uh, yeah. Who uh, are they? So, Billy, our guitarist and singer. And also known as Willie. Can you yeah. know? Willie, can you know? He is not here, but he is also in the band. I 
Our drummer is no longer with us. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. We're all like, oh, we like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, oh, just got fired. Oh, 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 oh. Three beers. Three beers. Dude, Dude, that's, a, that's only one beer in. Damn. <laughs> we're already <laughs> We're also, you know, with every beer, we're also going to cut a member from the band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, so at the, yeah, okay, it's going to be bad, really bad by the end of the show. Me and Chris are probably going to fight. Yeah, I'm going to death, but uh, shot. And then uh, Judson is our drummer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we're missing uh, our two guys. Uh, how long have the four of y'all been? Has Steve's always been the four, you four? Or no. have we rotated some cast members to get to this point? Rotated a few cast members. Yeah, mainly drummers. We've had different drummers. Uh, it's always been me, Nate, and Billy. Okay, cool. Billy, Nate, Nathan, and I. And then uh, oh. with, like every uh, two or three years, we you know we we go we go to drummers. <laughs> Is it just they get wore out or? Uh, or I don't really know. Nah, we. No, I mean, no, no, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> How long have you had the current drummer? Uh, like three years. Yeah, actually. Jetson's our guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Jetson, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what about every two or three years you go through a drummer? Yeah. How long have you had him? About three years. Yeah. Like even uh, I mean, all of our drummers we're friends with still, oh. and like yeah, we play different cool. bands with them and stuff. It's just yeah. maybe like the schedules, touring may not be they may not be as intensive on it as we are. Mm -hmm. Right. right. So. Uh, um, as we were. Uh, and so are you guys uh, in? Um, it is for the two of you or for the four of you? Is Thieves your only musical project, or are any of you in other projects? Yeah, we're all in right. other projects, except for Judson. Well, Judson plays with his old bands here and there. Yeah. But as far as actively, like active bands, Nate and I are very active with like, a bunch of other bands. And Billy's uh, actually Billy trying Davis. to be a DJ. We call him DJ Weeby. DJ Weeby. And speaking of old bands or history for bands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Man. I guess we'll do it now. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, man. Oh, we, yeah. Do. we don't have any music. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have history to our This is all free stuff. <laughs> what the? What the? What the? I haven't seen that shirt in like 15 years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like what's our print, right? Yeah. This was my the best band I was actually ever in. All my other bands have been just downhill since then. <laughs> Sorry, thieves. <laughs> yes. Yes. From, yes. From high school or yeah. I was uh, I started that band when I was like 12, and then uh, yeah, like, that's the prodigy. Yeah, and then we broke up when we were like 17, and that's like right when we broke up is when Nate and I started a hardcore band together. And cool. Kind of went on from there. God. I, yeah. <laughs> I actually met. This is how I met Chris. I was going to share my friend. Oh, no way. <laughs> you don't want to see the other shirt out. Uh, <laughs> right, 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 right. It's too smooth shirt. Right. So we have uh, some people out in the interwebs. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Who's interwebs. watching? Interwebs. Uh, Linda. Hey, Linda. Yeah. Linda. We have Chris Ann. It's Brian. Hi, oh, hey, Chris Ann. She's going to be in the, in the house, but, you know, Austin traffic sucks balls, yeah. so Chris Ann's not we here. We have Ben. 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 Hey, we have uh, Daniela. Probably right here. Oh, over there? That's Ben. Yeah. Hi, Ben. We have Angelina. Oh, hey, Angel. Yeah. You're missing the show. Where's Brad? Oh, uh, so Ben is, I guess, over there. No, oh, he's over there. Facebook? YouTube. 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 All right, so Facebook. we have uh, an internet question, the first of uh, the evening. Okay. So Felicia. Ooh. But wants to know, or she says, I grew up a lot, or I grew up on a lot of a pop, pop punk, screeching weasel, oh, and right. teenage bottle rocket, or something. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of all like, you know, your influences? Your influences. Okay, there you go. There's a good guy. Uh, we basically started Thieves because some good friends of ours started another pop punk band, mm -hmm. uh, a band called With the Punches. I know. Yes. Like, I'm you guys know what? Fair uh, enough. We were like good friends of ours, and they started it, and we just we loved what they were doing. And that was right when Nate and I's hardcore band was breaking up at the time. High school band. Yeah. And uh, and they were like, "Hey, I need a gig." And uh, he was like, "Hey, man, me too." And then we started like just playing like pop up music, but with like, hardcore influences and roots to it. I guess. Heavy breakdowns. Heavy breakdowns, yeah, but like, Billy just singing yeah. pop up over. It. So any, any bands in particular that like you're... Before you answer that oh. question... Oh wait, uh, yes. Oh, shit. At <laughs> Laurel, 
She says, hey, Nathan. At Laurel says, hey. All right. Oh, yeah. 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 Bristol, Tennessee. Let's go. Really? All right. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching that episode of Three Beers and Whiskey with Thieves. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click on the little bell notification so you won't miss future interviews and videos from Three Beers and Whiskey.